ChatGPT5 just got real-time browsing and it's absolutely wild because it sees live internet now. No more outdated answers, no more guessing. So we're gonna take this and turn it into actual money and I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video. But before we dive into all of that, I do wanna remind you that I've put together a full Google Doc right here, as you can see it on the screen, that goes through everything we're gonna talk about today and how to use GPT-5. If you need access to it, you can leave me a comment and I'll reply to your comment. And if you don't have this doc yet, I'll give you a link to download it for free, just to say thank you. Also, if you're not familiar with my course yet, it is still $12 right now, but that price is gonna be going up and it covers three different AI methods that you can use to get started with today. We've got some awesome results already flowing in from it. Okay, so what is new in chat GPT-5? So first off, like I said, real time web access, better memory and context retention, more human like responses and seamless multimodal handling with images and docs. It can actually rewrite stuff for you. So like you can upload a like PDF file and it will actually go and it'll rewrite it all. And there's better integration with tools like Zapier and Canva and more. Now I've actually already gone in and started testing things out and I want to show you some of the results that I've been able to get with it. So, one of the cool ways that I've been using it is to actual re actually run real-time AI audits that you can sell. So the way you do this is you ask ChatGPT5 to act as a Google business expert and analyze the business and then give it the city name. You'll ask it to find you know what's broken and how you would fix it. Now, this means you don't have to go and scrape and do all kinds of crazy things. There's no plugins. You just ask ChatGPT5 to do this and then it goes and it browses live listings and it returns a usable mini audit and I'm going to show you the results that it returned for me but this is a gold mine for client outreach and one of the cool ways that you can use it and if you're not in my industry hopefully you can take this idea and apply it to whatever industry you're in because it'll work in pretty much any industry so I boiled this down into three steps on how I tested it and I'm going to walk you through what that looks like right now so the first thing that I did was I wanted to find some leads that I could test this out on and actually run an audit with GPT-5. So I used a software called Local AI Fleet to find local businesses that already had broken or unoptimized Google business profiles. So the way that I did that is um, in the Google Doc, you can click the link to it, but I'll also leave the link in the description of this video. But I ran this prompt right here, find carpet cleaners in Milwaukee that do not have an optimized business profile. So I punched it in right here into the AI lead finder on this software. And what it did, and of course you can switch this out with any industry you want, any city you want, any location, even not in the United States, it can be anywhere in the world, but it's gonna return leads. So for, the, for this particular industry, it returned four leads for me of businesses that did not have an optimized Google business profile. So that's step one, really easy to do. And that tool makes it really easy. So check that out in the link in the description if you want to try it out. Then step two is I plugged that business that I found, one of them, into ChatGPT5 with my audit prompt. And then I got a custom live audit in seconds. So this is the prompt that I used. It's in step two of the Google Doc. It's act as a local SEO audit expert. Find the website and Google business profile for business name. So I did it for Dave's Magicist Inc. right here. So I said, find the Google business profile for Dave's Magicist Inc. in Milwaukee, evaluate their SEO, call to actions, mobile responsiveness, and reviews, and give me a report that I can send the business with three actionable fixes and why they matter. Now, how cool is that? Let me show you the results. Now, if you don't have ChatGPT5 showing up in your web browser, then try it on your phone because I actually didn't have it available in my web browser. So what I did is I pulled it up on my phone and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can see at the top right here, there'll be a dropdown that says ChatGPT and then you can select the version five. Now on the web version, I was not able to find that right now. So the rollout might be a little bit slow. So check on your phone go either on the website and look that way or download the app on your phone and see if you see it popping up that way. So I ran the prompt in here, just as you see, you just literally type it in and it got to work really quickly. In fact, let's see here, it was one, two, three, four, five, five seconds, guys. 
it returned a full audit. So I screen recorded it so I can scrub through this video to show you. But look, it told me what their website is. It told me what the directories are that they're listed in. It said that they don't have a um, officially claimed business profile. So that's pretty helpful information for anyone who's in this field. It shows their reviews. Um, and then it shows some different things like uh, mobile responsiveness, testimonials, and all that stuff. Uh, it shows about their local SEO, moderately strong with consistent NAP across directories. However, not claiming the Google business profile is a big missed opportunity. So that's pretty cool that it even knows what NAP is, which for those of you guys who don't know, that means name, address, and phone numbers. It means when their listing is listed across other local directory sites. That's cool because ChatGPT5 knows this. It knows the language and it knows to look for it. Um, so yeah, it gives us all this stuff and then it gives the three actionable fixes. So number one fix was to claim the listing, which that's great, right? Because we need to be able to constantly update things for them so that they continue to maintain that ranking. And Google wants to know that they're still active because otherwise they don't know whether they're in business or not anymore. Next, it said enhance website CTAs, which means call to actions with lead focused messaging. So why it matters? Clear, compelling CTAs improve conversion and encourage visitors to book and request a quote. So it suggested that we add a sticky or prominent button like request a free quote, schedule pickup or chat now. Now you guys know that with Dialhawk, we can add those call widgets in. So those of you guys who use Dialhawk, that'd be a real easy way to, um, to add that in. And then ensure mobile responsiveness and speed optimization because most local searches occur on mobile devices. And then it tells you exactly how you can run um, that test. And then the cool part is, is it gives you a sample email and report that you can then send out. So here it is. It says local SEO audit and quick wins for Dave's Magic Kiss Inc. in Milwaukee. I conducted a quick local SEO audit for your business. Here's what I found. And three focused recommendations to elevate your online visibility. Your website and business listings are consistent, well categorized, and you know, so on and so forth. It goes through the things that we just talked about. How crazy is that, right? With ChatGPT5, we have this at our fingertips now. So step one, we find the, the optimization leads that need help, and I use that tool, which I linked in the description of this video to do that. Then step two, I ran the business with the audit prompt through ChatGPT5. And that exact prompt you can get in the Google Doc, which all you need to do is leave a comment on this video and I can send it to you for free. And then step three, we're gonna take that audit that we just got done in literally three seconds, and we're gonna email that audit to the business owner, and we're gonna to offer to fix issues for either a $500 one-time fee, meaning we'll just fix those three issues and call it done, 500 bucks, or we upgrade them to a recurring monthly ongoing fee of $1,000 to help run these audits once a month and see if there's anything else to fix. So every month we'll find three new issues, we'll fix them and you know they'll keep ranking or rank even better month after month and we use AI to do most of the work. So you can kind of see the sample email template here but I just showed you it on chat GPT-5 as I ran it through the prompt so we won't go through that. But this is the offer, right? 500 bucks, a one-time profile fix or $1,000 a month to keep them ranked and op optimized and optional upsells, you can op upsell landing pages, videos. Those of you guys who have Dialhawk, you could upsell some call tracking. But think about this. You only need two to three clients to replace a full-time income. So these are some niches that love this. Dentists, chiropractors, HVAC contractors, tree removal, roofers, pest control, mold remediation, plumbers. If they rely on Google Maps, they're a client, plain and simple. So the real money breakdown here, close one client a week, you got about 2K a month in income flowing in because of the upsell opportunities that are there. If you can keep five clients, you've got 5K a month recurring income flowing in. And then, like I said, I mean, you add lead gen, call tracking, there's just even more upside. All with no ads, no calls, just using audits, value, and pitch. So again, guys, if you want my chat GPT-5 audit kit, that's that Google Doc I put together and the walkthrough of it all. Uh, just leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you enjoyed about it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll respond to you. I respond to every single comment and then I'll leave you a link to download that audit kit for free. 
And if you're not inside of my full system yet, my course, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video because the price is gonna be going up on that really soon here. So if you're even remotely interested in this type of stuff and you got value out of this, then you're gonna be blown away by the full value you get out of what's actually in my paid course. And it's only $12 right now. So you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain. If you wanna use AI to land your first client and have all the templates available, you can get access to that. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss our next video because we're gonna talk about how I let ChatGPT replace my sales team. And you're not gonna believe what happened. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here today. I am Paul James. Peace out.